Hello there YouTube fans, here again, and I figure why not, why not, as I do my marathon with Lowell Dossett Jr. with this one being the principal, that's right, the principal in 1987. I couldn't say he's the star in this one because he's not really the star, James Debussy is the star, and anyone who knows James Debussy is, he appeared with Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Ready. And it's been that few films. A lot of people may remember him in um, Tango, not Tango Jack, that was good. A lot of people might remember him in the Owl Station, that being K9. That's right, K9 in 89. But if you remember, don't remember him in K9, you don't even remember him in Ready. Very popular actor. There's a Busey, well known actor. Um, he's in this as the principal. But on his side, you've got a bunny, I think he's like the gym teacher. That's the actor I've just said, being Lord Dossett Jr. I quite like this one because it's basically a cheat, so he's a headmaster. And it's done by old stars. This is old star pictures I miss when they made films like this that were more independent. So it starts off, he's in a bar, and you've got the idea his wife is spit up with him. It could be his wife, it could be his girlfriend. And he meets a guy in the bar, he's giving him shit over it. And he basically smashes the car in. Now he could go to Nick, he could go to prison, he could do the community service. But instead they put him as, because he's a principal, for his punishment for being a naughty boy, they put him in the roughest stool going. i say it again. They put him in the rough, rough, no, that's the fucking word, right? Put him in the roughest stool going. This stool it's a shithole. This stool, you'd probably get your head smashed in, then look at you. You'd probably get stabbed, then look at you. This is definitely the stool of America. And you've got one, a few well-known actors here. You've got the dear, also being the Irani film, that being Tamando. You've got one dear, you think you've seen her before. She played the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5, the teen child. And she also appeared in People Under the Stairs. And she also appeared in The Lost Boys, even though you've never seen her in it. Her name's in it, but deleted scenes with her in it. Don't ask me why. Uh, but she was in The Lost Boys. What did the same there? So he's helping this stool out. You've got the idea it's a rough stool. And basically, we've got one guy. You've been seeing him before. Been died a few things. He's in my favourite series. That being V, the mini series. V, the final battle. And I do remember him being in Fear the TV series. And the funny thing is, he was also in The Wanderers, where he played a gang member in that. So he's very good at being these sort of like, you know, these cocky sort of, like, I'm a dang, don't mess with me sort of roles. And he definitely plays one in this. So he's making this epic speech where he's saying, no more, no more's going on, there's no more dang fighting, there's no more dang members, there's no more pushing drugs, no more. And he walks in. Big leopard race, so really looks lads in life, really looks like someone you don't want to fuck with. He tells him to shut up, he's got a big mouth, he walks off and he foils him. The headmaster foils him, he pulls a thick knife out to try and intimidate him, doesn't work, he snaps the knife, throws it on the floor and says, this is where it ends. No more. This is his outdoing. And you've got one dude, you get an exam, she can make something of herself, which is a single parent, single mum. And it's down to getting, it's really down to better the stool, they're down to make the stool a better place. And like I say, the B teacher, Bay Low Gossip Junior, helps him out. He believes him, he believes he can help the stool, he can make the stool a better place. But as well as that, there's a bit raised in the task room, right? And he gets set up. He gets set up. Bad style because they're breaking his motorbike. You say, Hey, what's going on here? Then they put a tile over his face. It's hard to say if I've got a tile, but they put a tile over his face. They're punting in, they're backing in, they basically kick the shit out of those taboo. Say, You really, really feel sorry for him. They kick him in the face, they thump him in the ducks, they batter him. They really make a bloody mess out of him. Which is basically just them saying, Don't fuck with us, don't step in our territory because that's what you're going to get. But he snaps up, he falls the motorbike, he says he wants the, the motorbike fits the way it is. Stoss it doing and sees him all bloody, he puts his arm on him and says, you can have the rest of the day off, come with me. He's got an idea, he's fixing him up. Cleaning him up, I should say. 
and um, it goes back to the dude. It's also that uh, it's just stupid for us to mess up in its Sam's and that, uh, and you just have opportunities, you know, to better yourself. But you're right, you've got this one dude, she's a cheat, so you feel for her, you really do, because she's trying to help this lad, she's trying to help people out on the way. And you've got this one cocky lad, this one this one scumbag lad. And what he does is he chases the, the, the teacher around. He's got like a, a mask on because he's a chicken shit. And I'm not sure, there's a bit of him positive. I'm positive he rapes her. And I'm, people could correct me if I'm wrong, but on the video version, and in certain versions, there's a scene where he does actually rape her. He falls across the um, trawling board. And I'm positive there's a scene where he does actually rape her. I could remind one than that, rape is not a nice thing, and we're the same what I've seen in the film. There's other versions of it out there, and there's a bit where he throws her on. He's got an idea, he pulls his mask off, he says, I don't need this anymore. And he slaps her a few times, and he's got an idea he's going to rape her, he's going to kill her. Without a look, the principal sees what's going on, he rides his motorbike up. That makes me laugh, that scene, because I'm respecting um, Meatloaf, you know, that scene. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. I'm expecting to hear that scene for Meatloaf when he's riding a motorbike up <laughs> across the room. Just that's just me being silly, but it's just when he's riding a motorbike up the stairs. It just looks like something you see Meatloaf do when he was alive, may he rest. You know, I'm expecting to hear, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> but he bounces in, gets the stun bad, with fucking lazy into him but at that point it's too late the teeth is all bloody and messy one of the long lads is crying but she'll survive it's one of these I'm, I'm positive in one person I've seen in the film that she did get raped after he I'm just misseeing it but he was heading to that point and I have to say it's not that in your face it's not like I spit in your fucking jave or any of that shit but yeah that does almost happen in the film um but she She's all bloody, she's booze, she thanks him for our uh, saving her, her life. And then you've got the stun bags again, the diamonds destroy the stool. This boy, the PE teacher again, played by Dossett Dune, says, That's it, no more Mr. Nice Dad, we've got to take the law on our own hands. And that's what they do. In the stool, they're beating them up, they're battering them, they're fucking kicking the shit out of the stun bags. There's one lad you sort of feel sorry for because you see he was trying to better himself. He had no option but to beat the principal up or he would have been battered himself. I'm not so now. I'm positive. I could be right. I could be one that he gets killed by our stormy mate. But they all get him. They get him to justice. They better the stool. They make the stool a stool worth going to, not a stool with stone bags. And it, just, it ends as, and I, how can I put it? How can I put it? It ends a satisfying ending. Let's just put it that way. In my eyes, it ends a satisfying ending. Well, Dossett Jr. in this one, he does a good performance, but it's like I say, he's not the star. It's not the star. The one is the principal. Being, I could be writing his name right and wrong. We all remember him. He played in Reddy. He played in K9. Don Sabusi. I think that's his name. I could be writing wrong. If people know his name, let me know. Very shit at names. You might remember him in K9, the, 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 the Owl Station. You might remember him in the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Ready, and Arnie's playing a Russian. He was, and he's made, I could put it, he's more or less the star of the film. He's more the star of the film, but when Tossic Jr. is in it, he's in it. He's got the idea he's sticking up for him. He doesn't deal with the stool being a shithole, and the time they better the stool. And it, in many ways, it kind of reminds me of another film. It reminds me of another one called Tass of 84. Come out in 1982, there was a film called Tass of 1984, where it was to do with stone bags, there was destroying the stew, there was a menace, and at the end, the headmaster had no option but to take the law in his own hands to better the stew. It was, he had no option. And this is what this film kind of reminds me of. It's called The Principal. It come out in 1987, and it's a good one. But into them, be smart. Be safe. See you later.